turmoil in the reality TV universe. Former star of Bravo's Real Housewives of New York City, Leah McSweeney, is suing Andy Cohen, Bravo, and others, including NBC Universal and Warner Brothers Discovery, over what she calls a hostile work environment. Sweeney alleging in a new civil lawsuit, quote, defendants established a rotted workplace culture that uniquely depended on pressuring its employees to consume alcohol. Defendant Cohen tends to provide the housewives with whom he uses cocaine with more favorable treatment and edits. Now, in a statement to CNN, a representative for the Bravo host has said this, quote, the claims against Andy are completely false. NBC Universal says that they are conducting an investigation into the recent allegations, and we should note that Warner Brothers Discovery is one of the defendants named in this lawsuit, a division of which produced Real Housewives of New York. WBD is also the parent company of CNN, and we have reached out for comment. Let's talk about all this now with CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. I'm so glad that you are with me here today. Listen, Joey, um, this is actually not the first time that this reality TV franchise has been accused of toxicity and substance abuse. However, Leah McSweeney has gone further. She claimed that the producers discriminated against her mental health disabilities and sabotaged her sobriety by encouraging her to drink, causing her to relapse. On its merit, how significant are these allegations? You know, Laura, good evening. Good to be with you. It's a blockbuster lawsuit, let's say that. And you're right to call them allegations because we know in a lawsuit you can say anything, and boy, does she. And so with regard to the merits, that's yet to be determined because there are allegations, but it goes on for 109 pages, very specific details. There are 35 different legal claims about hostile work environment and retaliation and not letting her go to her, her uh, alcohol anonymous meetings and not letting her go to her uh, visit her grandmother and the funeral, et cetera. I mean, wow. And so the issue is going to be, as I see it, on the one hand, with reality TV, Laura, you know what you're getting into, right? It's not new. Mm -hmm. You know that there's, it's really train wreck TV. There's a lot happening. And so to the extent that you may have these ailments or maladies, right, perhaps that's not the venue or form for you. So why subject yourself to it, right? On the other hand, you don't want housewives gone wild. And an employer has an obligation to have an environment which is conducive to those who are participating. And you don't forfeit your right to have an employer do the right thing. So those are the competing interests here. Ultimately, they have to be proven. And we'll see what happens in discovery as people start to get deposed and answer questions and give evidentiary value to the allegations as they exist now. And I have to tell you, everything you mentioned in that laundry list of things, I remember actually watching unfold in part, watching the Housewives franchises. But, you know, something tells me there'll be cameras nearby regardless, but you point to a very important thing. Because Bravo has, frankly, long been committed, they argue, to maintaining a safe work environment. That's the crux of what your position was just now, saying that. And they've said in a statement to CNN, and I'm going to quote here, Bravo has long been committed to maintaining a safe and respectful workplace for all cast and crew on our shows. For the last several years, we have been working with our third-party production companies to enhance our protocols, including stricter guidelines on alcohol consumption, direction on when to intervene to maintain the safety of cast and crew, increase psychological support, enhanced workplace trainings, more serious consequences for physical violence on set, and a requirement to provide cast and crew with a direct line to NBC Universal to raise concerns. A number of claims that were made by Leah McSweeney were previously investigated and unsubstantiated. Joey, when you hear me read what their statement is, just think of the disclaimer sort of things that you are signing, knowing that this is all enveloped in the conversation. What's your reaction? Yeah, well, that's very true, right? Because when you're entering into something like this, it's, it's television where it's reality, right? People are engaging with each other on a different level. That's what makes it for entertainment, the unscripted nature of what happens. And so, you know, on the one hand, yes, right? You know that you want to provide, as that statement provided, an atmosphere where people have guidance and direction and it's safe and it's healthy. On the other hand, kind of anything goes, right? 
So the last part of that statement also struck me because they said that they investigated and they were unsubstantiated. Mm -hmm. So you know where they're going with that, Laura. They're going to talk about the fact that she's disgruntled, that she didn't, you know, she wasn't on the show any longer, that there's no proof to the assertions that she's making, that this is something that she's just doing because she didn't get what she wants. That's certainly coming. But at the end of the day, if you sign up for reality TV, read the contract, read the clauses, know what you're getting into. And it is no secret that reality TV is what it is. Well, you know, you make a good point about what you're signing up for. On the other hand, that goes both ways. Those who create the content for reality shows, the networks and beyond, must know what they're signing up for as well. And that's the maybe the employee-employer relationship in a workplace environment. That comes as part of it as well. Joey, this is a civil case, as you well know, so uh, I suspect this is going to be a lot of discovery. What will be public and not? Well, I'm going to lean in either way. Joey Jackson, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Laura. I know you, you watch the franchise. Yeah. I know you do. Whatever. You watch the Housewives. <laughs> if I do, I'm not saying. <laughs> well, I do, and I'm saying. Thank you, Joey Jackson. <laughs> Always. Thank you.